honestly, when it comes to decorative plumbing, the world of super soft and clean lines and the contemporary look that we've seen at dominating uh, over the last four or five years is starting to change a little bit more towards textures and a little bit more lines. And you're seeing the evolution of a little bit more what you're, you're calling a transitional faucet from these days. So this is our brand new winter park collection that we have. As you can see, the elements of in the engraved HNCs, the coining that you find on the ribbon spout, where it actually ties in also together in the handle. Um, the idea that you have to have a simple, clean faucet is, is really starting to shift, and now we're, it's a lot more of a designer uh, focus. I've seen. I think all people are trying to bring in different elements that they're using in the different in parts of the kitchen and bath. And, and the faucet was always sought after, and now it's really becoming more and more of a crown jewel of the, of the bathroom space. So how do you bring it all together with that? Um, a very common trend, of course, you guys have heard about it for a couple years now, is mixing and matching with finishes. We continue to push on that and like to have a customer be able to mix and match in whatever finishes that they want versus a lot of the other vendors, it's a lot of black and gold. Here we also see designers loving polished nickel and black, polished nickel and gold, um, chrome and black. Whatever the combination is, uh, we have collections like our new kitchen faucet from Tenant collection allows you to be able to do that. And of course, the Verb, if you guys aren't familiar with that in the past, it's a, a, a brand new collection that came out a year ago that has 96 different configurations from a wide uh, spread standpoint from mixing and matching. So we continue to see the, the movement to barrier-free showers. Uh, as people are looking to you know, age in place, it's very important for them to be able to have something that can accommodate uh, you know, low step, no step uh, options. So this is our bench drain. So this is a concealed linear drain that's mounted into a bench seat. Um, it's, our kit includes everything you see here. We have preformed PET panels, which are held together with thin set. It cures in 45 minutes and you can tile right away. Um, the drain itself is intended to go wall to wall, so it doesn't really matter where the existing plumbing is in, in your footprint. With these train extensions, you're able to have a, a drain cover, a tiling cover that mounts from vertical surface to vertical surface every time. You have 16 inches of clearance, so this is ADA compatible for weight, depth, and height and that allows you the freedom to operate to make your drain connection. So one solid surface sloping into the drain. It's perfect for tub to shower conversions. It's also great for wet rooms because you can have one slope into the drain across the entire uh, bath footprint. Right now, it's uh, folks are very interested in aging in place and staying in their homes. With high interest rates, there's a drive to make modifications to their existing home to make sure that they're able to enjoy it for the, you know, for the rest of their life. This eliminates the barrier of curbs or tubs in a very easy to install, simple solution. So one of the biggest trends um, is really the increasing pace of people looking for a, more, a better solution for the bathroom experience in terms of toileting. Uh, bidets have been around for some time, but they're definitely an increasing trend of people looking to have a more sustainable solution in terms of environmental um, impact, but also a cleaner solution as well. The one that delivers us a, a better experience and a more enjoyable experience in the bathroom. And that's one of the big trends we're seeing and finding solutions for that, that requirement. I think more people are conscious, definitely conscious about um, issues like the environment and the amount of water that's used and material that's used in the traditional cleaning process of using tissue. So that's definitely an eye-opener for a lot of people. Um, but also, you know, just general wellness is an increasing factor in everybody's life. As we're in an aging population, those issues become even more apparent as people age and find it more difficult to, to be more mobile and they're looking for a, a solution that helps, helps them through their aging process. And that again is where a, a situation where the bidet will actually help them maintain their independence and their personal dignity um, 
uh, for the longer term. So there are actually two really big trends right now. One is as it relates to the environment. We are becoming a lot more environment and eco-friendly and environmentally conscious. And so some of the big trends are seeing more sustainable products in the kitchen. Um, we have sustainable sinks right now. So our quartz is made of 99% recyclable material. In addition to that environmental factor, we're really seeing focus on filtration, right? There's a lot of different information that we're hearing about what is actually in our water and so filtered products, filtration, things to make sure that we're keeping ourselves healthy and hydrated at our home are really big kitchen trends that we're seeing this year. Our consumers are learning more about what's in their water, what's coming into their body, what they see in the environment. They're learning more about what's affecting their day-to-day -day on a global aspect and so trying to make sure that we are addressing those fears and addressing those concerns but also making sure we're keeping it easy and accessible for the day-to-day -day consumer. There's a lot going on uh, in 2024, but for us, as we cater to the multifamily market, we see some clear trends emerge in that space, including a need for creating modern spaces. Uh, and in particular, we are seeing a little bit of what we, are, what we call a soft square trend emerge. Uh, this is something which came up during a research when we go and talk to our customers and what what they would like to see and how they want to build so we have uh, be, you know been thinking about soft squares a lot in the last few months and now in 2024 we feel like we are ready for a launch of our own with the Ezra kitchen and bath collection I can tell you a little bit more about the Ezra kitchen right here this is if you see the handle design sort of and the the body has this softer square to it yep. and of course the faucet as a peerless product has to work great offer all what it spray options even the power rinse we offer this product in three finish options and that's the other trend we we do see chrome and stainless being popular which we offer them but the other trend we see is in matte black Matte black has been around for a while, but suddenly we see a lot of it in the apartment and multifamily size. And it's been, it's been growing and it continues to grow, which is what makes us very confident that this is something which we should launch in Ezra as well. So matte black gives it a nice modern uh, appeal to the space, which is exciting, I think. So we launched a kitchen and we also are introducing the bath for Ezra, again, catering to the same trend. If you see the lab faucet, it's a softer square, top handle. And as we sort of go a step deeper, apart from the design, there's also convenience and installation time, which people want to reduce. So we've introduced small features like these push pop-up drains here. These are easy to install drains and clean, like we don't have to worry about the lift rods at the back or connecting them at the bottom and even when you're using it it's really easy to just twist and turn open clean and then put it back so that's something which we love that we have been able to launch in fearless and i did want to also highlight the tub and shower here which is making sure you can make your space work for different people at different time like if you wanted to adjust the height you could move that around you know, in every family there's somebody who's tall and short, so we want to make sure everything works well. And the diverter helps you decide where you want the water to go. Ezra Bath works with our multi-choice valve. So, yeah, we feel like this matte black and soft modern square look is here to stay.